Hi everyone. Um, just thought I would pop on live really quickly to show you about these banners because there's so many questions about them and I'll, I just want to, I have to go to the vet in 20 minutes so I can't um, hang out long, but I wanted to show you how to use them. The banners I mentioned are the ones that were linked in the newsletter. So if you don't have them, you need to make sure you sign up for the In Brilliance newsletter and uh, they are the ones that sent it out. If not, if you haven't gotten them, they will be posted to the In Brilliance Project blog. But for those of you that have them, and when you do get them, I will, these are the um, uh, quick version of how to use these guys. So let me switch over to the software real fast. Here I have the um, banners that are available here. So uh, the First one, I'll hold on smoke because I got to cancel my um, uh, Wi-Fi on my phone so I don't get the uh, use of bandwidth. <laughs> okay, so I have the banners shown up in the software. If you look at your object pane, they each have design names. Okay, when you're if you want to publish these to your library, and those of you that have Stitch Artist 3 can publish these to your library, otherwise watch the project blog, to publish them to the library. They each, every design has to be on the page, has to have its own name. I have a blog post on my website, which is so-bubbles.com, and you can search on it to get the step-by-step -step instructions, but quick and dirty, make sure that each one of these has a name. You go up to where it says, you go into, make sure you're in create mode. You go to create, publish, designs, and this is going to ask you where, how you want to publish your designs. Now I have, I'm using the commercial publishing, so I have a few more options. Yours is basically going to ask for the name, the info, the, what information you want to put there, etc. This will all be this all in that blog post that I had that have done. Once you have them published, when you click on the gear, this is going to bring up your, then where you have uh, chosen to publish them here, I'll put there in my banners folder and you can choose any one of them now because they're going to show up separately. And for example, I'm going to choose this gemstone one and I'm going to click OK. Brings it in. Now, if you see this is called gemstone, this is a satin border that goes around it and there's an envelope that's already named and the shape is there. So to, it's called envelope seven in this particular one. Each one of these has a different envelope name. So if I were to go into merge design again, and let's say choose the um, rising banner number one, click OK. If you notice, we now have, whoops, let me go here. This is, uh, it all merged it in together, but I have multiple ones here. Why did it do this guy? Ba -da 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 -da. Move that over here. This one has the envelope number one. This one has envelope number seven. So whichever one you want to use, that's the one you need to keep that number in mind. So I'm going to click on the lettering tool. Puts it in ABC where it says letters. I'm going to change that letters to match the envelope. So if I want this lettering to go, if I'm making lettering for that diamond shape, that gem, thing that was there. I'm going to type in all caps, L-I-S-A, hit enter. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, wrong thing. Ah, envelope one, E-N-V-E-L-O-P. I'm getting discombobulated because I saw comments pop up here. I need to type in the name of the lettering object. So this says letters seven, which is going to be matching envelope seven. Hit the enter key. That's going to match that. In my text, I'm going to type in all caps, the text that I want to push there. As soon as I click off that text, it populates it and stretches it out. No matter what font I use, that's the block font. If I go and choose a BX font that I have, click off of it and it morphs it in there. If I click on the lettering tool, there's my ABC here and I'm going to move it down here. Letters where it says letters, if I want this lettering to go into this banner, I have to rename my letters, put the number one at the end of it. So letters space one. Now when I type my ABC, I can type in S-U-P-R-I-S-E, hit the enter key, click off of it, and you'll see that it populates that one, okay? So 
this was just a quick and dirty video. You're gonna find, we're gonna write up instructions. They're gonna be in the project blog, step-by-step. Step. If you want more information on how to publish your own um, designs to your library, that's on my website. Go to the blog or search the blog and type in libraries. It gives all the step-by-step -step information. If you do not have Stitch Artist 3 and you just want to use these libraries, okay? Open this up. Choose the library, choose the shape that you want. So this pennant shape, that's the, let me see, let me move this guy out of the way, boom. Doo -doo -doo. Pennant shape, and I'm just gonna grab the letters as well. So that, whoops, not all those, just this one. Hold down my shift key and grab this one. So all these are selected together. I'm gonna go up to my menu up here or my button bar where it says copy. Go to a new design page, click paste. Now where it says letters, you see it says letter six, envelope six. All I have to do is go in here and say, yippee. Hit enter, whoops, not enter. Whoop, click set. Why did my things slide away? But the click off and it goes and it puts it in there, okay? So the key point is that whatever lettering you add, if you don't use the lettering that comes with it or you don't use that uh, the letter object, your envelope number and your letter number must match. That's how they get pulled in together, okay? Copy, paste, it's your best friend. Super duper simple. These can all be used in any level of Stitch Artist. Level three lets you create your own library. Level one or two, you simply do the copy paste. It's not hard. Hard part is making sure that you're not crazy. You wanna select both of them. So I wanna select, there's bridge down. There's my bridge down, because it's named the same thing right here. Select them both at the same time. Go to your new design page. Whoops, gotta copy it first. Copy, new design page, paste. As soon as you click off, the letters are in there. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. I'm off to the vet with my poor Daisy who's not eating. And for those of you that are watching or keeping track of my Bubbles Menagerie after hours, I'll be there at six o'clock Colorado time. You can find the link on my Facebook page, which is So Bubbles. If you go to facebook.com slash So Bubbles, one word, you'll see the link at the top, get reminder. And I also put a link to that or a description here in the group, um, the Stitch Artist group as to how to get to it. And... See you later, guys. Bye.